And while North Augusta officers were working that robbery on that scene, Aiken County deputies were dealing with a high-speed chase right next to it. Our photographer catching this video of the chase just zooming by while we were there for the gas station robbery. Structure fire fully involved. Yeah, they were very concerned. Our photographer was actually rolling his camera when fire trucks arrived a little less than 14 minutes after the first 911 call. While crews were en route, family, neighbors, and deputies tried to save the mother inside. They're less than five minutes away. They, they, they may have been able to save that lady's life. The new Sydney ordinance is making it possible in Aiken, just in time for the holidays. News 12 Logan Nestor is live downtown Aiken with how you can ride one. Laura Christie, it looked like so much fun, I just had to try it. I'm here with Kenneth Edwards and his horse, Al Capone. Look at that Al Capone, he's much nicer than the other one. I talked to Edwards today about how horse-drawn carriages came back to Aiken. Exclusive video to show you tonight of a suspect accused of robbing Regions Bank being arrested. Aiken County deputies say David Jackson Jr. went into the bank on Jefferson Davis Highway, demanded money, and took off around 10.30. He was arrested on a strong armed robbery charge about an hour later on Townsend Street. Aiken, and when you got there today, Tiziana, flames were still shooting through the roof. Richard, that's absolutely correct. But you can see how much damage those flames caused to this building. Eight apartment homes gone. And they put up this caution tape earlier today when I was here around 630. It's still up. No one's staying the night here tonight. You can see pieces of the roof on the ground, just tons of it. But bottom line is these families lost everything today. It's Lindsay, any updates in this fire? Well, as you guys can see, it's still pretty active out here. And now the Aiken County Sheriff's Office and the SLED arson team are both out here. We learned in the last hour, crews found 69-year-old Leota Sullivan inside the house. Officials say he was actually found in this white building. You can see it's actually an attachment to the original home. Again, it's not clear how Sullivan died at this point. Officials do say he was found in the least badly burned part of that house. And uh, as of this point, they're out here trying to piece together what happened. As soon as we know more information, we'll pass it on to you. Live in North Augusta, Lindsay Tuman on your side. Oh, he's Ivan <laughs> Evans. And a 6 a.m. worker location. showing up to build with a man in a chicken suit right next door. Hey, good morning, everybody <laughs> here. We are uh, out at the home and the haunted graveyard <laughs> of Paul Cavallero. And uh, we've got uh, all kinds of uh, different elements to this graveyard right here, even uh, a crazy one that can move. I wonder what in the world I'm doing. I, we just kind of make our way back here to an angry devil right here. And then we move off. Here's Paul, by the way, this is his yard. This is actually a motion activated spider that if you're not ready for it, then it'll just come out and get you. Meredith, that's for you. Wouldn't this be fantastic to sit right on the desk? And Liz, despite what we see you in right now, you're, you're not in a costume. I think you're just battling the rain. But other people, have you seen anyone else dressed uh, oh, up for uh, the movie? Of course, of course. I'm not one of these crazy fans. You guys, I mean, seriously, I, I can't even believe my eyes. This line right here wraps completely around the building. These folks have been out here since 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. They bought their tickets two months ago. The first couple shows sold out. Um, crazy costumes. Meet my main man, Chewbacca. Let me hear your roar. It's away from this bus being flipped over. You can see a tow truck is hooked up to it. They've been working for the last hour and a half trying to get this thing back on its side. This is right along Haddon Pond Road. That's off Highway 24 in Waynesboro. It had just come over a railroad track when this happened. Deputies say the driver had a medical issue and passed out crossing those tracks. Again, the school district says all 18 students on board, they're doing okay. And we're talking about some of the younger students from Waynesboro Primary and Blakeney Elementary School. Definitely some scary moments for those kids, though. But three students, along with the driver and the adult, adult bus monitor on board, all taken to the hospital to be checked out. But the good news here, they say the safety features on this bus appear to have worked like they're supposed to. The windows on the downside of the bus did not shatter, which, of course, could have been awful for those kids. If all that glass had have shattered, 
So luckily those features did work. And if we'll hang on to the shot for a second, we'll see this bus flipping back onto its wheels. Not too far from a railroad track. Uh, the driver passing out there, driving along an embankment before it finally flipped over. And we're told the driver had some shortness of breath. There it goes, back on four wheels. Had some shortness of breath and then lost consciousness. But thankfully everybody seems to be okay. Just some bumps and bruises. Dozens of people in Thompson are sleeping in tents. And look at that. They have emerged from those tents and they are walking and inside. they're off they're off this is a live look now from the brand new chick-fil-a the first ever standalone store there in thompson well the doors are opening they are getting awards the first 100 campers are getting a free chick-fil-a meal every week for an entire year that's a reason to cheer for sure yeah that's why they do this at least 85 people were camped out around 8 30 last night and this morning <laughs> more than 100 it's the first one to open in thompson and at least we